I bought this <laughs> new hat which I really love but I don't think it's very suitable for gardening it looks a bit glam what do you reckon I don't know how practical it will be but I'll give it a try this is my first time wearing it so I'll let you know how it goes I'm actually digging around the garden I'm just heading down to let the chickens out but I can't help be distracted a bit by the background look at that they are all my new garden beds I'm coming Chuckies. I have this tarp covering part of the coop. And look at that, there's worms in it. I don't even know how they got up here. It's so weird. Come on, off you get. Hey, lovely girls. I bought this new selfie stick, which is pretty cool. It's a gimbal. So it means I can kind of like change angles. How does that look for you guys on screen? I'm just like moving it around. It seems pretty smooth. Hopefully you'll think so too. The hat's doing the job. <laughs> it's blocking out the sun. Um, I just wanted to say that another thing I'm planning on buying is a little microphone. So I'm not always so close to the camera. Sometimes I don't always look at it on the TV, my videos, but when I do, I kind of cringe because, oh, it's just such a close up. I don't know how you put up with it. It looks like Autumn has come over to her favourite place, munching away on the brassicas. And here's Snowflake. They absolutely love it. And you know what? I don't mind because they're so good to us, aren't they, really? When you think about it, they produce beautiful eggs. Are you enjoying that, Autumn? Woo! My hat just blew off and gave me a fright, poor little things. The three new long beds which I have here in the middle of the garden are coming along nicely. I finally this week managed to finish off one whole row, moving compost, putting in the seedlings. I still have a little bit more to go here and this row has a lot more work. Actually, some areas which I really wanted to plant straight into needed a lot of digging. I usually don't dig up the beds, but this section had really, really awful grass very deep roots in it so i actually got this thing can't remember what it's called and i love using this one i tell you why because it belongs or it did belong to my kids great grandma so every time i use it in the garden it just makes me think of her she was a wonderful gardener and i'm so lucky to have one of her garden tools she used to use this is what i freak out about all the time the chickens getting into the newly planted beds I really need to keep an eye on them constantly because it's just so much area to protect from them and I haven't got around to doing it all yet. Here are a few fever few plants. I did have six, but one of them has disappeared. <laughs> I just think it didn't really do well being transplanted. And there are a few things that you can do to reduce transplant shock. Um, one being try and not plant out your seedlings in the middle of the day when it's warm. Try and choose like you know a cool afternoon or a cool morning another thing you can do as well is use some seaweed solution um the brand here in australia is called sea sol or that's one i use um if you put that over the plants give the plants a feed of that after you pop them in the ground it seems to help them it was my birthday a few weeks ago and I got a few vouchers for Bunning. So I decided to, you know, with some of that money, purchase these, which are biodegradable weed mat pins. I have never seen these before. I just accidentally stumbled across them when I was looking at some other things in that particular section. And I thought, you know what? I might as well give them a try. Um, if they're more eco-friendly than the metal pins that you use to hold down weed mat, you know, I'm all for that. Um, I haven't, I probably should have researched a little bit more because I don't quite understand how they work, like how they break down, but they're looking pretty solid. I mean, I tried to give them a bend and they feel very firm. I am going to put one in the ground now over the weed mat and see how it goes. This is my first year using weed mat and I'm only putting it in the rows. I won't be using it over the beds where, you know, people burn out the holes. Uh, really, I kind of slightly regret buying it because 
I mean, it's not really my thing. I'd much rather, you know, be a natural pathway with some bark. But since I have it now, I'm going to just use it. But let's go and put this pin in and see how it feels. Okay, that went in all right feels solid firm holding this in place i'll give you an update over the next few months and let you know whether they are worth purchasing or not i have to say i was freaking out a little bit last night because um soccer training got cancelled due to the weather um it was on the news we were supposed to get a really cool blast um in parts of new south wales right down to where I live. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Um, there was snow, maybe about a 20 minute drive away, but it seems to be, everything seems to be fine here. And I had to get up really early this morning. There was no frost in the car, no frost outside. I really think it was cause yesterday it was raining quite a lot. And I feel like that cloud cover protected our area. And thank goodness it did, because I was really nervous. I was gonna lose some of my seedlings. And when I'm talking about seedlings, some of them are absolutely ridiculously small. Like look at the size of that one. This is a black eyed Susan Indian summer. Um, and you know, I was getting a bit impatient, decided why not? I might as well just put them straight in the ground. <laughs> oh, this one's even more tiny, look at it. I really, what I need to do now is sow a few more of these seeds because I'm not sure if they will all make it. Like I did have, oh look, there's another one there. Like, that doesn't even have its true leaves on it yet, does it? <laughs> I'm pushing it a bit, I think. So when your seeds germinate, the first set of leaves that you see are the seed leaves, which actually have a specific name. They're called cotyledums. <laughs> I'll pop the name up here, because I'm probably, as usual, not pronouncing that right. Um, and then what happens is you see the next set of leaves and they are called the true leaves. And what I usually do before I plant out any seedlings is I at least wait for the true leaves to form. And in most cases, you're better off waiting for the plant to get a little bit more established with maybe three or four sets of leaves on the seedling before you pop it out. But as you could tell there, what I just showed you, I got a bit carried away and I popped one out. I broke my own rule, put one out that didn't even have this set of true leaves yet. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. It may die, but you know what? Why not give it a chance? I made a bit of a sacrifice when I put in these new beds and it's over here. What you're looking at is the stump the roots, the old plant of the lemon verbena, which was beautiful here in the garden, but it was just really in an awkward place. I did actually spend quite some time trying to dig out the roots, but I wasn't super successful because they were so, you know, deeply anchored in the ground. I ended up breaking some of the main ones and I made a decision that it wasn't worth trying to save it popping it elsewhere in the garden so unfortunately this plant is a goner but you know what I'll just end up buying a little baby plant out in the garden center next time I go there and I'll pop it pop it in somewhere a bit more suitable there are a lot of messy areas like this in the garden this is where I had one of my main dahlia patches during the summer and there are quite a lot of tubers lying underground like that one there is kind of poking up. I did have a bit of a look the other day. Let me see, oh, there's another one over here. That one's a little bit exposed, but I'm not too concerned. Um, I am planning on digging all of these up. There's around 16 plants, and I'm going to make a few new areas for dahlias this year. Speaking of dahlias, I've just popped into the greenhouse to show you something. So for the past two years, I've been very unlucky each spring where we've had some pretty massive storms and I have had a lot of issues with labels of my new dahlia tubers getting wrecked you know falling out of pots and then I'm not sure come summer time what variety is what because a lot of them look very similar so this year I have a plan to try and preempt any disaster like that and hopefully it will mean what I've done will mean that um, I won't have any confusion when it comes to showing you my flowers during summer so this here is one of my new dahlias so you can see that's the label that came with it 
I popped that in there. But then I also got a white marker and I wrote the name of the dahlia on the pot too. So I have double the labeling. If this one, anything happens to that, we will still be able to know what variety it is here on the container. I purchased a few new dahlia tubers yesterday over at Tim's Garden Centre in Campbelltown if any of you are from my area. They just got their stock in this week so I'm sure there's still plenty there to grab some over the weekend and I'm absolutely loving this one. This dahlia purchasing tip, which I'm about to share with you, does not apply to Tim's Garden Centre because they are incredible in there they take great pride in their products and it's only the best quality that they sell so I did not need to do this check but if you are in any of those big box stores it is most definitely worth checking the bag before you purchase dahlias and that goes for bulbs as well so just have a look at the back make sure the tuber is still nice and firm there are no signs of like decay or you know if it has already started to sprout those sprouts aren't going all slimy like I didn't do this as I said at Tim's Garden Centre because I know they only sell the best stuff there well that's it for this week everyone I had to do a bit of a change because it's starting to get chilly thank you so much for watching until the end if you enjoyed what you've just seen please consider giving it a thumbs up because that really supports my channel and if you are new here why not subscribe I upload every Friday and there's always something going on here in my college garden bye everyone have a great week see you next Friday